Hey everybody, Star Six Wars One here, and welcome to my latest countdown of the top 40 anime openings. This is by far the biggest list I have ever attempted to do. Now, let's get straight to the point and say a couple of rules. Number one. Um, unlike most lists, I'm not restricting uh, anime I've not watched. The only thing I've had to do is listen to the openings. Now, I won't be showing any clips for the openings due to copyright reasons. So you're stuck with that, but you'll still get, you still got the rest. Two. The, it's only going to be one opening per series. Now, if there is a sequel slash second season to most of these, yeah, you probably won't see more than one. The only exception to this is the Fate series. But that's more so because I consider Fate Zero and the original Fate City Night on different terms, since they were created by different companies, and with the new Fate City Night coming out this fall, I thought better off to leave them separate. Also, that does mean no second ones from Kogios. And third, I, under I understand full well that I have missed probably several great openings. But the thing is, I probably haven't listened to them yet. So, give me some time, and this list will be remade eventually into a better list. But for now, this is my top 40 favorite anime openings, so let us begin. Number 40, Pokemon's first opening. First up, I just gotta say this, suck it, Watch Mojo. I'm sorry, that was on their number one, and no, just no. Okay, moving on from that, the opening is very nostalgic for most Pokemon fans. I'm not one of them. I joined in a different era of Pokemon. But I won't deny that the first opening, at least in terms of Pokemon, is probably the best. And is a personal one that I'll say, yeah, I like it. Not enough to get it on the rest of the list. Honestly, this is more filler than anything else. I couldn't find a 40th spot other than this. And believe me, the alternatives were actually worse. So, you get what you get, and that's why it's my number 40. Number 39, Outlaw Stars Opening Through the Night. Okay, I want to be very clear here, because I can already hear the people that have watched this show's heads screaming. I have not watched Outlaw Star yet. Though... This opening really intrigues me enough to want to. Really, I think it's a pretty good opening. The major reason why it is so low is because I've yet to actually watch the series. This will be a running theme in the rest of the countdown, as a lot of the lower ones are from anime I've either not watched or didn't care enough about. But I do hope to care more about this opening but for now, it is my number 39. Let us move on. Number 38. Dragon Ball Z's Rock the Dragon and the Canadian theme song. Oh, I can hear the nostalgia fans screaming again. At least for Rock the Dragon. Once again, I've not watched Dragon Ball Z. but And I've barely actually heard Rock the Dragon. I've heard the Canadian theme more. And that theme has been stuck in my head for 16 years. Ugh, that, that theme can go die in a fire for all I care, but actually it does. Well, at least the catchiness of it. I. God damn it! <laughs> uh, either way, I do like both themes, but I will say this much. I really, really wish that these weren't stuck in my head. Just damn it all.
let's go on before I rant anymore. Number 37, Azamanga Dayo Somori Cake. I think that's what it's called, at least. Honestly, this opening really, really fits the show. <sighs> Azamanga Dayo itself is very slice of life esque, and I'll be very honest, the opening really helps establish that. True, the person singing can be at few one of those few beats at times, kind of annoying, but you know what? You kind of just take it and roll with it. I personally actually rather like this one, despite it's not so great sound sometimes. But it is number 37 on my list. Number 36, Canon 2006 Last Regrets. Something you're going to notice with me a lot in this list are two themes. The sad and depressing, and the blood pumping and action fueled. Canon 2006 is the former. It's very, it feels very sad and very somber, but at the same time, welcoming you into the, its world. Very much how like the first episode of Canon did for itself. Honestly, one of my major problems with the song really is... I think it could have been better. It doesn't get the message for me fully across, but just enough to place it higher than the other entries, but not enough to get it any higher. That, and I just think the others are better. But this is my number 36. Number 35. Oran High School Host Club's Sakura Kiss. The English version. Oh yeah, I went there. Okay, to be very bluntly honest, I've not heard the Japanese theme at all. And anyway, I kind of just watched the show with the English version, so... Yeah, I'm kind of blown by the fact of that. The good news is, I still think it's a pretty good song. From what I've heard of the, the Japanese version, it's even better. Then again, I've not listened to it. I just grew kind of used to the English theme. Sorry, guys. It makes sure the fact, unfortunately, that it doesn't get any higher, but hell, it made it this high already. So, kudos. So with that, that is my number 35. Let's move on. Number 34. Fate Stay Night's Disillusion um, Reproduction Version. Now, I didn't... E Before you ask, I didn't even know there was a reproduction version until I saw G.R. Arcada's Top 50 Anime Openings. I gotta thank him for that one, because this one is infinitely better than dissolute than the original dissolution and i didn't even mind the original dissolution all that much it would have been on here if it wasn't for this one and i'll be honest it is so much better it feels it gives more of a somber tone that i was looking for with dissolution and the original version and i think succeeds a lot more the only major gripe I have with it is the fact that it's kind of short and that it kind of goes back to somewhat of how it was originally. Which, eh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't mind it, but the tone was ruined. But that's a minor nitpick, and that's why it's my number 34. Number 33, Dantalian no Shoka's Kranz Nukam to cry i think that's what it's called i shall be very very honest here with this one um this is the newest opening besides the reproduction of disillusion that i have actually seen and i gotta be honest i rather liked it unlike disillusion it keeps to its more somber and sad calming sound and I thought did a better job at it. So kudos there. Um, if I had to complain about anything, it's that 
The in the opening itself, the visuals do not match the song that well. I think the song itself definitely is a nice pick for the show, but the visuals don't match, and that's why it's my number 33. Number 32, Persona 4 The Animation's First Opening. Now, I actually rather like the second opening too, but I kind of just preferred the opening one, and I prefer to listen to it on occasion. Now, it's enough, and they'll be honest, I actually prefer it more than the opening to Persona 3. God, that one sucks. Well, at least the song. This one I like. Really, though, the only major problem with it is that it switched out later, and that, beyond a few things, it's not the greatest and most interesting opening ever. But... It's still enough to make it my number 32. Number 31, Gunbusters opening. Now, I don't know why I like this opening, but I think it has something to do with how much it just makes me hyped and makes me want to watch the OVA. Honestly, the opening isn't the greatest, and it's one of the older ones on here. But I rather liked how its tone and its almost never give up feel. So, honestly, this was a pretty nice opening. One of the big problems with it, though, is that it's not for everyone, and it is kind of short-lived. And I wish I could have heard more from it than the fact the singer apparently had some controversy with it. I never bothered to look that one up very much. Either way, it is still my number 31. 